Welcome to PC Woods Goods Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Sapphire HD 7770 Gigahertz Edition that is flex capable. So the flex edition, Gigahertz Edition version of this card. I've reviewed other 7770s from Sapphire, but this one here has the unique aspect of four monitors being able to uh, plug in. Three of them in Ifinity right off the bat without any display port. All you need to do is plug in your HDMI adapter and um, your DVI plug if you have two DVI monitors and you're set to go. The kit comes with all of these items that you can see here including another DVI to um, HDMI out so just in case if you don't have an HDMI cable for example or an HDMI capable uh, monitor. The manual, the CDs, the card itself nothing out of the ordinary from Sapphire except for the fact that uh, this is a Flex Affinity Edition and um, other than that standard six pin power okay so a 450 watt power supply is more than enough as long as you have a PCI Express slot you're good to go also you can see there the heat pipes the copper heat pipes going through it okay so we're gonna get some excellent cooling capabilities out of this one it's uh, quite open it's not fully enclosed the card if you were to look at it some of some cards usually come with the plastic fully shield all around to contain the air and blowing it out through the vent. This one is slightly different in that respect that uh, even though it has a vent, the air is coming out um, pretty much through the back, through the side, all over the place, but the fan is trying to blow it out, right? Now, um, what else can I tell you about this card? Crossfire, obviously, two cards only, not three, not four, just two, um, and you've got the standard um, specs here for it. So if you look at the center of the screen there, you can see the specs. 1 gigahertz on the core speed, 1125 uh, megahertz on the memory. My test system here, you can see the specs. This is the machine that I'm installing this card and testing it on. Okay, so that you have this as your reference. And of course, we're going to run some benchmarks very soon. But looking again at the specs on the 770 um, here that we've got it's a 128-bit card, okay? So keep that in mind. When I talk about bit, 128-bit means more, more or less a mainstream uh, card. It's not a high-end card, right? High-end cards usually have 256 and higher, okay? So there are the specs. Using the Catalyst drivers, 12.8, as you can see. One gig of GDDR5 memory. The um, temperatures on idle running there, hovering at about 32 degrees Celsius with the fan on auto running at 20%. And then at full load, it jumps up to 62 degrees Celsius. Now, if you want to set this up in Ifinity, right? Like I said earlier, you hook up your three monitors, one on the HDMI and two of the other ones on your DVI plugs. You've got three monitors that are, let's just say, identical in size. So you're basically going to join those and group them up into one big massive uh, surface, right? One display area. So what we do is we create a group and let it know that we want three displays spanned across and it will join those together to make one gigantic sp display basically and here are uh, the minimum and maximum resolutions for the type of display that I have of course if you have a higher display monitor then of course this goes up right you can have it even higher than that but this gives you a good idea on the capabilities there now running some benchmarks starting with the synthetic benchmarks from 3d mark 11 you can see here the comparison score p3544 to the other performance scores as you can see there not bad and also i ran this on extreme there and you can have that and compare it to my previous reviews if you're interested on 3d mark vantage we're looking at the gpu score here of 13563 and again you can compare that to other scores that i've done on other cards. Now, if you decide to overclock it using the Sapphire Trix utility, um, very easy, right? You just use the slider, increase the board power a little bit, and then you're good to go, right? And that's pretty much how you would overclock um, at best this card, okay? And of course, I leave the fan on auto, all right? Now, looking at some game benchmarks, looking here at Crisis 2, I'll let that speak for itself. Of course, as you increase the resolution and you have Ifinity with three monitors, for example, the frames per second are going to go down. So you might have to adjust the quality 
of the uh, of your game settings of course so that way you can get faster frames per second right so keep that in mind on battlefield 3 you can see here again pretty good pretty good um, but again it's on high settings if you want to play Ifinity you might have to lower the settings a little bit so that way you can have it very smooth on the triple display monitor setup okay for example Mass Effect 3 here you go again you can see the results high frames per second on lower resolutions and as we get to the higher ones frames per second go down again remember this is a 128 bit card it's not the high-end card but the capabilities are there for you to have the um, view of a Ifinity display right it's just a matter of tweaking the uh, the game settings and then you know you're off to the races and you don't necessarily have to spend too much money um, to buy this card I will post the link below the video so that you can uh, get to the latest pricing for that let me know what you think about this card is it something that you uh, would probably get as your next purchase in the future or are you happy with what you've got today remember it depends on how much you're gonna pay how much you can get right and this is the flex edition from Sapphire and I'd like to thank Sapphire for providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching